Then we move on to Biffa. Um, on the face here, I'm not happy with it. So I'm going to go over that again with some... Well, we'll do a red wash first and then start putting up highlights on there. The hands could also do with a bit more um, flesh colour and red wash. Looks as if I've done those far too quickly. The uh, weapon I'm happy with though. So, yeah, look, I've made a right mess of his hair, so I shall be doing that as well. I'll probably have to paint the hair white to get rid of that bit. So for the hair, I've used this black 950, and for the coat, I've used flat earth again. And I'll just show you how it looks. So, the nice thing about this black is it's a very matte black it's not a shiny black so it's still a little shiny at the moment because it's just been applied but it does go a nice dull black and the same with the flat earth as well that's um, quite a matte color see some of it is starting to dry now and what we need to do is start doing a raw umber wash on there to start picking out the folds on the coat and on the hair we need to start lightening that up so I'll start off with dark grey lighten that up a bit move to basalt grey and then start getting brighter and brighter on the parts hitting the light or as the light hits on the weapon now I've just run another line of silver along the edge of the blade get that that's caught it quite nicely there so the Flat Earth is starting to dry. I've done Burnt Sienna for the boots. They're quite nice. Reddish brown. I just made sure on the beard and hair that there weren't any little white bits that I've missed. So that's why some of it's still a little bit shiny because I've found a few bits. Scabbard for the sword is also matte black. So now I can start doing the raw umber wash on the coat. So nicely that's drying in a matte way on the coat. Does look good. What I've just done is some um, burnt umber on the parts of the coat that are sticking out there so they're like the quilts or whatever. Strapping I suppose it could be. Ta -da. Raw umber wash on the boots as well. And if I can just point these out. These two little panels at the front here It's not come out very well, but I have done those in um, burnt umber. Might have to make this a bit darker because they're really not showing up at all. And yeah, I'll have to go over those a couple of times. I might even have changed to mahogany, which might be a better idea actually. start work on the hair and the beard. So I've been around the hair with, it started off as matte black so I added some white to the black to make it a bit greyer and then I made it lighter still with a bit more white in there just to pick up 
the highlighted parts and on the beard as well but I'm going to add a bit more white to that so make an even paler grey just to pick up a few more little highlights on there and I've also got to go around the fur parts at the bottom of the robe there in a paler brown sort of more like ivory brown so we'll probably do a mix of ivory and brown and that would solve it and then uh, do a wash over that just to bring that out and then he's done the um, sword handle I've done with burnt umber with a little bit of white in it and I just need to do a bit of highlighting on the belt as well Well, for the fur, in the end, I used green ochre. Okay, so that's what I used for that. Um, it's a nice colour, and I also went over it with... I've just been over it with a thin, very thin wash of black, just to get into the crevices there. So there's fur around the shoulders as well. And on the boots, I did another wash of the black that I've just used on the flesh so that's him done. I did do a small highlight of grey just on the parts of the scabbard that stick out so along the edge and at the bottom there. There you go there he is all finished And I forgot to mention the little bit of wood that's in his hair as well for, for no apparent reason, so that was just done in burned up.